All right, so um, what we've got here is a Sennheiser 300 series in-ear monitor. It's the Generation 2 or the G2. Uh, now, we've got a problem with this and the fact that, um, as you can see here in this picture, the antenna has broken off. People have stuck it in their pocket and it's rubbed up against their clothes and been bent and whatnot, just, just not well taken care of, and the antenna has broken off. Now, I called Sennheiser the other day and talked to them about this, and they have stopped um, getting parts for the G2, and they are no longer servicing them, so we are left to do this on our own. Today is Thursday. Sunday is coming. we got to get this thing fixed. So let's take a look at what we got. Now we've got some hex screws on the back to take off the back plate. And here we can see the back plate is finally open. There's some screws that are screwing down this circuit board that you see. Um, and as you can see up in the upper corner where the antenna used to go in, there's a rubber grommet and kind of a fitting that allows us to kind of, this antenna to sit in place. Um, I tried to, as you can see here in the next picture, I kind of stripped away all the rubber and took the grommet off and left just where the wire had broken going into this rubber fitting. I tried to solder it on there and I'm not sure what the Santana is made out of, um, but the solder would not stick. Uh, I read a lot of forums on making sure that you heat it up and 450 degrees soldering irons and um, sanding off um, sanding off the wires to get get the coating the epoxy coating off and did all that could not get it to work so um, what we had to do is kind of a uh, crude fix not the fix that I necessarily wanted I wanted it to look a lot better but ended up just removing that whole fitting piece and soldering the antenna straight to the circuit board. And here's the picture. You can see how that works, soldering it straight to the circuit board. So the grommet, the rubber fitting where the antenna sits down into, all that's gone and the antenna is now soldered directly onto the circuit board. And here's a closer up picture on how that worked. Okay. Put all that back in, screwed the back back on, and here is what the finished product looked like. So now you can see the, the grommet is completely missing. Um, if you wanted to, I imagine that you could probably go to Ace or somewhere like that or Radio Shack and find a grommet that might kind of fit that, maybe like a, some kind of universal fitting. Um, I uh, don't have a Radio Shack around here. We're in good old Hermiston. And um, don't have a Radio Shack or anything like that where I could get one of those grommets and didn't have time to make a trip to do that. So that's what it looks like today. Definitely be searching online trying to find something to fit in there to stabilize that antenna a little bit. Um, I have a second one of these body packs and to fix it, um, what I did, and I'll um, show you in the next picture here. The antenna hadn't totally broken off. Um, it was just the rubber grommet that was torn. And so what I did is got some shrink, shrink wrap and um, shrunk that around the grommet and the antenna. And I, I put a little piece of stiff wire in there to kind of stabilize it a little bit and then ended up um, still a little bit flexible, more flexible than I wanted. Um, and so I ended up using some um, hot glue around it to kind of uh, stable, stabilize it some more. So the hot glue is not completely rigid where it would crack. Um, like if I were to use some kind of a, um, a JB weld or something like that. So the hot glue kind of gives a little bit of flexibility because it is sitting up against your body and it is going to rub up against it and move it around and stuff. So we don't want it totally rigid, but, but those are the fixes that I did on the G2 in-ear monitors from Sennheiser. Um, if this helped you out in any way, just comment down below. You guys have a great day.